Module 3, Lesson 1, Homework. Use the folded paper strip to mark point zero and one above the number line and zero thirds, one third, two thirds, and three thirds below it. So you might have your paper strip. If not, we're just gonna draw. So I'm going to start with point zero and one. So I'm gonna make zero down here, one over here. Oh, I already didn't follow directions. Zero, one above the line. And then zero thirds, one third, two thirds, and three thirds below it. So zero thirds is the same as zero. And three thirds is the same as one. So now I'm just going to split this evenly into thirds as best I can. And I'll label this zero third, one third, two thirds, and then we have three thirds. Draw two vertical lines to break each rectangle into thirds. I'm going to do that part, breaking them into thirds. Shade the left third of each. Partition each with horizontal lines to show equivalent fractions. So the first one, what they've done is one third times two. So they split this into two equal parts. And so here we have one sixth, two are shaded out of six pieces. So that's where they got the two sixths from. So let's make another equivalent fraction. This one I'm gonna split into three equal parts. And so we'll have one third is equal to one third and we split into three and that got us we have one two three parts shaded out of a total nine let's split it into four so we have one third is equal to one third times four which is one two three four shaded out of 12 holes or 12 pieces and then the last one let's do fifths so we have one third is equal to one third times five and that would be five fifteenths five are shaded out of 15 total pieces. Number two, use the folded strip to mark point zero and one above the number line. So zero, again, zero and one above the number line and zero fourths, one fourth, two fourths, three fourths, and four fourths below. So here's zero fourths and four fourths. Now I'm gonna, two fourths is right in the middle. So I'm gonna use that first make that two fourths and then I can find my one fourth right in the, between that and three fourths now we need to break it these into fourths and shade one fourth make some equivalent fractions. So I'll start with time, times two. So one fourth is equal to one over four times two over two. That is two eighths. If we split it into thirds, we have three twelfths we do into f four equal pieces, we'll have four sixteenths. And if we do five, we'll have five twentieths. One, two, three, four, five out of 20. 
Number three, continue the pattern with four fifths. So we'll have zero and one. And then if we break it into fifths, we'll have zero fifths, one fifth, two fifths, three fifths, four fifths, and five fifths. And I'm gonna break it into fifths. And then this time we have four fifths. So I'm going to shade in four fifths of each one. I use green to make it easier to see since I'm shading more than just one part. Okay, now we're ready to make our equivalent fractions. So I'm going to start by just making four fifths and splitting it into two. So we'll have four fifths times two over two is equal to eight tenths. And you can see we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight green pieces out of ten total pieces. Now let's split it into three. So four fifths is equal to four fifths times three over three. And that is twelve fifteenths. And if we break it into four, we'll have four fifths is equal to four fifths times four over four or sixteen twentieths. And if I break it into five, I'll have four fifths is equal to four fifths times five over five, and that is 20 20 fifths. And number four, continue the process and model two equivalent fractions for nine eighths. Estimate to mark the points on the number line. So we are going to, we have nine eighths, which is greater, which is greater than one. So that's actually one and one eighth. So we can't just do zero to one on our number line. Um, we're going to have to make it a little bit bigger. So I'm going to make zero here and one here. And then I'll split it. I'll do four eighths right in the middle and two eighths and six eighths. Then I can put in my one eighth and three eighths, five eighths, seven eighths. This one is the same as eight eighths. This is zero eighths. And then my nine eighths would be right after. So let's go ahead and now draw it on our models. So I'm going to break this one into eight eighths. Now I'll shade in nine eighths in each one. So this one, the whole thing's gonna be shaded plus a piece here. And this whole thing's gonna be shaded plus another one eighth. So those both show our nine eighths. Now let's make some equivalent fractions. So we have nine eighths would be equal to, if we split it down the middle, we would have 9 eighths times 2 over 2. We would have 18 shaded pieces out of 16 total in one hole. And if I split it into 3, we'd have 9 eighths is equal to 9 eighths times 
3 over 3, and that is 27 24th. So there are 27 red shaded pieces out of the denominator is always out of 1. So that's why it's smaller than the numerator here.